going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Dills, man. Hashtag Farms of Dills. Today, we got 20 PC mods in testing. We got 37 console mods in testing. With all those 11 mods were released today, North Mine and Company talk about their big three trucks. A2 Studio is spreading awareness with their TLX 2020 series. Black Eyes Modding have a new Sammy project. JA Modding show off three of their future mods. 40 Modding also show off three mods. Lancy Boy's tester teases Oak Hill. Dutch Modding is working on traffic for West Newton Farm. Dusty Dave is back with a whole lot of information. Puma 145 gives us an update and a plan for the next five months. CM Mods Law Folds is in testing right now, PC update and console, plus Oxygen David overloads us with a ton of new information from Challington Valley. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Aber Grain Silo, Bolt Carrier Agricultural Trailer, Dalberg, HUD Smart Shade, Hungarian Shed Prefab, Hungarian Workshop, Instant Wash, Joskin Drakar 6600, Kuhn GMD 3511, Lizard Hand Lifter, Lone Oak Workshop, Matriatina 2418, Normat Velour Max 872, PGR Slona, Razor Kylosar, Real Mud, Robert GMC, Snow Melting Station, Toe Chain with Hook, and the W. BM Metric H6. In testing four consoles, we have Bell Trailer, Basic Pastures Pack, Big Shed, Bauer, Brick Shed Pack Italian Style, Challenger MT600D, Challenger MT700, Dairy, Degulum Feline 11, Degulum Feline 18.2, Double Door Garage, Farm Tech EDK500, TDK900, Gold Crest Valley Chicken Pit, JCB Fast Track 3000 Extra, John Deere 6200, Coon FA 367, Lizard Apollo 1015 GTX, Lizard Lizard Bell Trailer, Lizard Beaver 20 XPT, Lizard Cam DF, Lizard PCP 6000, Lizard RCW5, Lizard Super Cube Bulk Trailer, Lone Oak Cow Husbandry, Lone Oak Pick Farm Pack, Multi Hitch, NMC Huddigan Lieber Adapters, PHX Pack, Roland Bell Trailer, Roland Turbo 160, Semi Agron 375, Sapphire Top Weight Pack, Soznovka Stone Pack, Timbered Farm Pack, Ungitsheim, and the Zader Crystal 1211. With all that being said, we only have 26. Six mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is two work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 11 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod hub. I've already made a video showing these off, and you can find that video linked below. Moving into today's top stories, and we start with North Mine Company and their NMC trucks. It was reported that lots of posts have been deleted recently due to people being very rude and demanding the release dates of these trucks. Please be kind and nice to these guys as they're working their tails off right now to get these out for all platforms as soon as possible. All three trucks are currently in-game and are very customizable to make the truck look unique, different from everybody else that you're playing with, with more features coming in the future updates. They say it shouldn't be long before they're sent off to Giants for testing. They will be all for all platforms again, like I've said before. There's no release dates. No release dates ever. Ever, ever, ever. Heads up, not even Giants knows when a mod is going to be released until it passes testing. Please be patient, and I'll keep you updated on the progress once more information is available. Today we get a look at A2 Studios' new TLX update, which he's going to try and get this beautiful breast cancer awareness livery onto. David, along with Sid Monning, and I'm sure others that I don't even know about, are doing their part to help spread awareness during the month of October. As you may know, my grandmother is a survivor, but not everyone is as lucky. And I'm proud to be friends with both of these modders doing their part to help spread awareness. Black Eyes Modding show up a sneaky pick of the front of a Sammy tractor that they're working on. This wouldn't be their first Sammy tractor either. Black Eyes Modding are quickly becoming one of the most popular and common names in modding, and I cannot wait to see what they bring us. JA Modding, Connect Modding, and Conta Comiga Modding show off some new screenshots of two mods that we've talked about recently, but unfortunately, no new information today. The John Deere 5070E and their Agrilay 575 Super. These are two Brazilian tractors that are in the works, very likely for all platforms, assuming that they can get the Agrilay tractor brand in game. They also say that they've sent off their new planter model for testing as well. They've been working on these planters for a while and soon we'll be able to see their hard work pay off. This is labeled as a lizard planter, so it should have no problems coming to all platforms. 40 Mining update us on three other models today. First, we get to see their Mikkel Bell Wrapper. There were some minor changes that needed to be made to get it on the consoles, but those have been made. They also created new wear and dirt textures while fixing the models. They have been resubmitted for testing as a Mikkel for PC and Lizard branded for consoles. Their Smith Super Cube trailer's also been resubmitted for testing and is currently attesting for consoles as a Lizard brand at the time of recording this video. And lastly, their high spec 3500 TDS has been converted for console use as well. 
They've not uploaded this one for testing yet, as there's still a few things that they need to do to prepare it. They're hoping to get all configurations for this as well on the consoles, but they're just going to have to wait and see. Lancy Boy's tester has posted some new screenshots and teasers from Lancy Boy's upcoming map, Oak Hill. This was a map that we showed off in a recent video on the channel and even tried to do a live stream a few weeks ago, though my internet was having issues that day and we were unsuccessful. If you want to check out even more screenshots or if you want to see the video that we did, check out the link below beside Lancy Boy Tester. Dutch Modding's not only working on traffic for Steve's Mod's Glazebrook, which we showed off yesterday, but is also helping in and modding with traffic on West Newton Farm. Super exciting. They released some time-lapse videos of work in progress, and <laughs> you guys know. Check it out in the link below if you want to see it. Here's a big one for you. Dusty Dave is working on a very popular map for FS19, Penberlin Farm. This map is still a work in progress, but they say it's the perfect map for smaller or vintage machinery with its tight yard layout and small to medium sized fields. Penberlin Yard is where you start off a small dairy farm with arable storage and lots of small sheds. The sheep farm will be moved to a new location from the FS17 version and pigs will not be available on the FS19 version farm will be located in its place. The map will have around 30 fields, contracts, and transport missions, of course, more sale points than previous game versions, multiple farms, improved crop textures, improved lighting, extended map, and even more detail, and be seasons ready and support straw harvest and maize plus. It's got everything. Puma gives us a huge timeline update, which is virtually unheard of or impossible when it comes to modders. This is super cool. They say that October, they're trying to release Goldcrest Valley 1.1 and Ostrowitko 2.0. In November next month, they want to release their new map, Mazovia. In December, they want to update that map to 1.0.1, and they want to do some stuff in January and February where they're going to be announcing a new project. Only time's going to tell, but Puma 145 is one of the hardest working map creators out there, and their success and awesome track record for amazing maps is well-deserved and well-earned. CM Mod says that Law Folds is now with Giants, the update for PC, which fixed a few things as well as a bug with Straw, and the console version are both with Giants right now, awaiting testing. The only thing to do now is wait ourselves, and I'll be keeping you updated once more information is released. If you haven't already, go check out my first look and map tour on that map, is an absolutely stunning map, especially around 1900 hours in the evening. And lastly today, we've got three things from Oxygen David, starting off with the first screenshots from Chellington Valley in Seasons. And holy cow, check these screenshots out. Mostly shots from around the map and town area, but we do get a farm or two in there as well. The lighting mixed with the haze in the air is just absolutely stunning. It's hard to make Oxy's maps look even better than they already do. But looks like adding seasons is going to do the trick. Secondly from Oxy today, we get to see farm number nine on the map called Pine Creek Farm. This farm will have cows and calves. Yes, I said calves. Awesome seeing them return to one of his maps as they made their first appearance on an Oxy map in Sandy Bay. And it was a feature available on all platforms. As you can tell, the farm isn't very large and it's quite tight as well but you still shouldn't have any problems with medium-sized equipment on the farm or a smaller wheel loader. And lastly today, we get to see what is called the final farm on Shellington Valley called Whitehall Farm, which was designed by his good friend Max. This is an arable farm with lots of storage space and a silo as well. Though this is called the final farm, it's only the 10th farm that he's shown off. I was under the impression there were going to be 11 farms on the map, but things could have changed since they made that post a few weeks ago, which is not abnormal at all. This farm is quite open and will be ideal for medium and even larger equipment as well, with lots of room to breathe and open access to surrounding fields straight from the farmyard. That being said, this is one of the farms that we've shown off over the past few weeks, and it is amazing. We've seen 10 farms over the past few weeks. Which one's going to be your favorite? Which one are you planning on starting out with? I will be doing a full review of all the farms over the next few days to kind of give you guys a refresher and to check out everything going on so that you know everything that's been on this map that's been announced officially so far. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, unfortunately, so myself nor anyone else, not even Giants, knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later.
Yeah, who's ready to live stream? Let's do it.